acquisition cameras are turned on, and we're standing by for APU start. Uniform step 311, CCSC. Orbiter APU start. And we're go for start, and we have re APU start reported. The APU pumps provide pressure to the three orbiter hydraulic systems, which in turn are used to move the main engine nozzles and the aero surfaces of the orbiter. T minus 4 minutes 30 seconds. 1454 OTC NTD, this is APU. We've got a failed temperature measurement. APU 1 exhaust duct temp number 2. Measurement B46 TO140 ABLE. LCC page 6.6-18. This is not an FRF LCC violation. Entity copies, SP. SP concurs. Keep going. T-minus four minutes and counting. Some discussion on the yeah, net about APU uh, exhaust duct temperatures not reported as a violation, and the test and the countdown continues. Oh, we're holding down. Uh, we are holding at T-minus four minutes. Uh, failure due to APU three gearbox blue ball out pressure low. Uh, this was anticipated by firing room two. Uh, we have a go to proceed with it. We now show uh, toggling between 44 and 45. I see APU verify you have no other problems with the APU. That's correct. Okay, NTD, we have a go from firing room uh, two on this parameter. We'll pick up the GLS on your call. It's reported that the hold is due uh, to the, uh, the APU number three right, lube oil pressure at the outlet, and uh, this was anticipated. It was read in uh, in the firing circuits here, yep. and the discussion of the team indicates that we will be picking up the okay, countdown again shortly. Mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus four minutes and counting. And we have picked up the count. It's now T minus 3 minutes 55 seconds and counting. At this point, the aero surface profile test should start. All of the elevons, the body flap, the speed brake, and the rudder are moved through a pre programmed pattern. After this pattern is completed, they'll be moved to what would be their normal flight uh, launch consider, uh, configuration. T minus 33 seconds and counting. Gaseous oxygen vent arm is retracted. 28 seconds. We're now on flight or orbiter control. The final command for engine start will occur at approximately T minus 10 seconds. T minus 20 seconds now. Preparing to enter the final sequence. T minus 15. T minus 10. 9. 8. Firing. 7. Main engine start sequence. We have main engine start. We have three engines up and running. T zero. T plus five seconds. T plus ten seconds. T plus eleven shutdown of number one engine. T plus thirteen seconds shutdown of engines number two and three. All three engines have shut down. The shutdown sequence appears to have been normal here on the firing room television. We're continuing with the high-speed APU run at this point. T plus 24 seconds. GLS shows engine 123 shut down. T plus 30 seconds. The APU high-speed performance. GLS go for it. APU high-speed. APU perform APU high-speed run and shut down. Report completion. APU. APU copies. We're on high speed now. 